just finished doing the Murph workout. This is Mick. You know, from the moment she turn around. When I know she loves the attention, and she gives me wish. And over the last several decades, advocates have been working to end that stigma surrounding getting help. Hey, so why would I play with this shit? It was time when I prayed for this shit, so I gotta go get it. Hey, gotta stand tall as a tag in the wall. I ain't coming up short. I don't fuck with no midges. Straight out the co, I just landed in Cali. A couple things to say. Let me get ready here. Yes, sir. All right, so the Murph workout is essentially designed to honor the exploits of a Lieutenant Murphy. If you want to know the entire story of what he went through to drag his buddies to safety, just Google it. It's all over the place. This workout is known worldwide. I've done it for probably the last four or five years now, just as a way to do something meaningful on Memorial Day. Yeah, it doesn't help anybody, I get it but it keeps me focused on why I joined the military, about how proud I should be to be a veteran. All this is done with 20 pounds and a weight vest. The workout is one mile run. Then you're gonna go through a cycle of 300 squats, 200 push-ups, 100 pull-ups. Then you run another mile. This is to simulate the effect of what this man had to do in order to save some lives crazy that he did all of that after the stresses of combat right today's memorial day when i'm recording this I'm not really sure when i'm gonna post it but i felt like it was important to put it out there you don't have to do this crazy ass workout to remember your fellow vets because that's what memorial day is about if you're confused veterans day is about those prior military members that are still here with us memorial day is about the ones that aren't with us anymore. Hope that makes sense. So on Memorial Day, I personally don't really celebrate. I just try to spend time in remembrance, just getting this feeling of gratitude. Because number one, I came home, there's a lot of veterans out there that didn't. That's the price that's paid for us to have the freedoms and opportunities we have here in the US. I've been listening to a lot of different podcasts, just listening to veterans tell their stories. I've even been on podcasts telling my story recently too. One thing that seems to ring true for each of us is that at some point we feel guilty after getting out. We feel this guilt, we feel this shame, and some even more so than others because of the things they had to do while they were in. One of the gentlemen I was listening to, I'm not gonna name names or be too specific, but he had to do something I wouldn't wish on any military member ever. He had to shoot a child while he's sitting in this podcast. And it's real as fuck, right? He's like, what do I even do with that? I struggled for the last five years just trying to understand and make sense of that. Here's what I'll leave you with. Any vets struggling like that or been in that kind of position, I've had buddies in the same position too, but they did shit they just can't stomach anymore. Number one thing you have to understand is not everything makes sense in life. It doesn't make sense at all that you had to do that. Choose between you and your buddy or that child. It doesn't make sense that child was armed with a weapon. It doesn't make sense that war even exists to begin with, but these are realities that we face. These are experiences that we face. The best thing that you can do with each experience like that is to, number one, understand that some things just don't make sense. There's no explanation for it. Number two, whatever guilt you feel, whatever emotions are coming through, allow them. I'm not saying let them swallow you up. I'm saying allow yourself to release those emotions. Sometimes we hold on to the emotions, the pain, the guilt, and the shame. We feel like I didn't get enough consequences for that, so maybe I should punish myself. But let me help you understand, because it didn't make sense to begin with, why continue to punish yourself over it? There are still people around you right now in the present that depend on you or care about you or both, and they don't deserve for you to be walking around carrying this weight because it affects them too. Everything we do travels down the line 
Imagine your kids struggling with the same emotional weight that you're struggling with right now. That's what you will transfer if you don't deal with this. I put up a link to a video on how to start working on those emotions. It's all free on here. Last point I'm gonna leave you with is this. You're out of the military. You are back and you're still trying to figure out what to do. You're being swallowed up. Number one thing you can do instead of sitting there feeling guilty, make whatever happened there make sense by finding a way to contribute. A veteran mentor of mine chose to start adopting kids that had no hope of a future with his wife. That was his way to transfer that negative energy to something positive. He started adopting children. And so far to this date, five of the kids he's adopted have successfully gone through college and are living productive lives right now. That's what he took from the situations that he dealt with. You could volunteer at a school. You can do something small. You could become a coach on a football team. You can't run it like a drill sergeant, but there are ways to transfer that energy. Find a way to make it mean something. That didn't make any sense, but now make sense of it with the actions that you take every day. And I'll go even further on Memorial Day. We shouldn't just be sitting here remembering the stories of our fallen veterans. We should be going out there into the world and taking actions to show that the message has been received far and wide. Find a way to volunteer, even if it's not better, it's help people in general. It's only gonna be good things coming when you try to help people, only good things. I can't ever remember a bad experience when I tried to help somebody, even if it didn't go the way I expected. I learned and I grew massively over things like that. I want the same for you, but I'm gonna close this video with this. If you got some value from this, if you did the Murph or whatever, drop a comment. Subscribe to this channel. I'm looking to speak to veterans and I'm also looking to speak to people that want to know what veterans go through and want to figure out how they can help and support, even if you have one in your life. So the comments are open and I welcome you to this community. Bye.